Hi, Alex Dirks of Crustcrawler, and in this video we're going to talk about the Castlelink USB programming kit and how to connect it to the Phoenix Edge HV60 thruster controllers. And then once we get it connected, we're going to look into the firmware, the specialized firmware that was created by Castle Creations just for Crustcrawler's ROV thrusters, the 400HFS-L series of thrusters and the 600HF series of thrusters. So let's take a look at how we hook it up and let's look at the software and all the features that it offers you. Okay, let's take a look at our setup here. We have a power supply over here. You can use anywhere from 12 to 50 volts to power the Phoenix Edge HV60 for this. Um, if you look at the Phoenix Edge HV60, uh, the two leads coming out of the one end are obviously connected to positive and negative of the power supply. The opposite ends uh, that actually connect to the thruster are we're not connected. They don't have to be connected. And of course there's the signal cable coming out of the Phoenix Edge uh, controller which is ultimately hooked to the um, Castle Link chipset which is right here. You can see the lights on because we have it connected to our USB con uh, controller. And you'll also notice that right at the end where you connect the cable coming from the uh, Phoenix Edge HV60 controller you'll see that it's minus, plus, and of course signal. So make sure you get the orientation of the wires co uh, correct. If you look at the uh, the uh, Molex connector coming from the Phoenix Edge uh, HV60, you'll see brown, red, and orange, with brown being the, sig uh, the ground and orange being uh, signal, of course. So make sure you get the orientation correct, and you plug it into your USB port on your uh, laptop computer, and Download the latest version of Castle Link to your laptop or computer and you'll be set to go. Now let's take a look at the software. So what I'm going to do first now is I'm going to power up our power supply. What I would like you to do is just pay attention down here where it says USB connected, connected or device not linked. When you power up your power supply, the Castle Link software will react this way. I just clicked on the power button. It's reading all the settings on the Phoenix Edge HV60. Uh, it's firmware. We have custom firmware from Crassel Creations that works just for our thrusters. It is a Mamba uh, uh, firmware. Um, and notice it says down here now, it says you know, USB connected, device linked, and you're ready to go and to each one of these tabs and change the values. So let's look at the first, first tab. The first tab being the basic. Um, I'm going to go through the, the, the standard settings that Crestcrawler sets the Phoenix Edge HV60s. Uh, as they're shipped from the factory. Uh, we set them with no cutoff voltage. You can set a different cutoff voltage if you'd like. Cutoff voltage is simply the voltage at which your power supply or battery falls below in voltage level and then the Phoenix Edge HV60 turns off automatically. But we set it for no cutoff. Um, of course the reverse type is with reverse. Uh, most ESCs, brushless motor controllers, do not come with reverse. Um, of course the Phoenix Edge HV60 working with our thrusters uh, have both forward and reverse thrust capability. Everything else is left alone. We don't change anything else on the left. Of the rest of the menu here. So let's go to the power tab. Uh, this is a great uh, area where you can alter the settings. For example, max forward power, max reverse power. Uh, we set them both to 100%. So basically it's saying when you move the throttle to max forward or max reverse, you're getting 100% of the ESC's power based on your power supply. Um, you can go in here and set it to a lower value, especially if you want to limit the current draw from your battery or power supply, um, or you're worried about overheating the thruster in, in rough conditions or whatever, you can go in here and set these values to a lower value than 100%. So, but from the factory, they're shipped at 100% each. Um, you can set a custom value by using this little radial dial right here. You can go up down 1% increments as well. So you can set a very specific uh, uh, thruster rate, which is really nice, especially when you want a very, very low, slow uh, thruster response with your throttle. Uh, bringing these down will certainly help with that. So we're going to set it 100%. We'll click on the Advanced tab. Um, we don't change anything in the Advanced tab, and we suggest that you don't either. Um, the settings here are normal. The, the arming time is 1.5 and everything else is just set the way it is. Uh, because changing this could change the characteristics and operating characteristics of the thruster and we don't want to do that. We we'll click on the throttle uh, curve and brake curve tabs and you'll notice it has a line and this simple this line simply corresponds to your uh, input throttle position versus 
the amount of throttle, throttle that it's being given. Uh, so we set it for a linear, we go to this drop down, we set it for a linear curve, nice straight curve. So as you're throttling up here, um, you're move, physically moving your throttle up, the thruster is of course powering up higher and higher and higher. Um, same with the brake curve. However, you can set a very custom uh, throttle curve based on your throttle for for example you want more sensitivity from your throttle whether you're using a joystick throttle a software throttle a uh, computer throttle uh, etc you can go in here and set the parameters here so for example I'm going to click on the middle of this graph here and just drag the mouse like that and then I go to the drop down and select curve and I get a nice curved throttle response so here you notice that even though I'm giving it throttle uh, it, it's the thrusters responding very slowly at first and then it gradually starts to throttle up as we go so this gives you a more sensitive throttle input response uh, you can do the same with the brake curve you know you can go the opposite direction for example or you can go you can mimic the uh, thrust uh, the forward thrust curve on this by just dragging it up like that and brake curve you have throttle curve that's when you're throttling up okay uh, and brake curve is when you're throttling down so those are the two relationships there and so this can set up a really nice uh, thruster curve based on the operating conditions your ROV is operating in. So you can really get a customized response from your th uh, thrusters. Um, the Crust Crawl is 400 HFSL or 600 HF thruster uh, based on the conditions you're operating in. The last tab we're going to talk about is logging. We have data logging. So you have all kinds of things you can log with the Phoenix Edge HV60. For example, a lot of people want to know, for example, battery current. How much current are we using over a given period of time? You can sample temperature, input throttle, um, you have battery ripple, battery voltage, um, and then you have your sample frequency. We like to set it for the lowest, like one, one sample per second. Um, the default on here is about five samples per second. It depends on how much data you want, but you got to be careful because you can run out of memory on the Phoenix Edge HV60 fairly quickly if you have a very very high sample rate so we like to set it to one sample per second so after you run let's say a thruster on your ROV or multiple thrusters on your ROV you can come in here and download using this button right here download log data um, to your computer and save it as a file and look at it um, so it's really really handy and then of course when you're done you can click the clear uh, log data uh, push button which is right here and uh, you can start over again. So one of the most common ones that are used is battery current. A lot of people like to monitor their current, uh, how much current they're using per thruster. Um, and so that's a, that's a very handy uh, area right there, battery current. So this concludes our uh, review of the CastleLink software. I hope you found it very helpful and uh, you'll see how they work so well with our uh, thruster products such as the 400 HFSL and the 600 HF. And of course, if you have any questions, by all means, Give us a, send us an email or give us a call at Crust Crawler and we'd be more than happy to answer your questions.